guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 16. Uh, not even 16. 16 and 17! Oh my god! <laughs> um, yes, Pretty Care Pies. Let's go ahead and get started on episode 16 and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, raining in this series, and is it raining still today? Not really, it's cloudy, but it, it did rain a while ago. I mean, damn, Komochi, that's awesome. Really knows me? <laughs> Okay, so something else I want to talk about. Alright, so, mm. Okay, let's talk about the last cure for freaking tropical rouge and how pretty she looks. Oh my god, it's best girl, Laura, let's go! But, okay, so I've seen her merch, and her merch isn't going to be sold, oh, sold until later on this month. And I want it. I really, really do. But I just spent, like, half of my money on Bunsity. To try to get one of my best girls. Because there's a wedding set that I want. And she didn't come home. I had two freaking pools left. And she was like, no, I'm not coming home. But all I have are paid gems. So I can only do single pools. So praying to God that she comes home. So I think what I'm going to do next month. And plus it was like really expensive. They wanted, um, I think it was 40 4,237 yen plus 1,997 yen in shipping. So I was going to pay about like 50, almost like 50 bucks for it um, total, even though I just paid 50 bucks for like 5,400 but yeah, 5,400 gems. So yeah, your girl's definitely going to buy this next month. And then I can finally have like one other thing. Because the only like toy thing that I have a pretty gear is the bag from Kita Kita. Or maybe I'll have to check um, Mirror Cart and see if somebody sells it. Unfortunately, he didn't like it. Mm. I get that, but seriously, you didn't have to be hard. listen to him. Oh. Nice job, nuts. <sighs> you, know, you fucked up. That's what you did! Oh, 
well, you know, she kind of gives me interesting feels to despair herself. And then... What the heck is the villain's name? The the woman's name? <laughs> Tropical Rich! <laughs> Except, you know, she's not like, mm, I don't lack motivation. <laughs> Excuse me. I know... Nuts, once again, your Benitas is showing and I don't like it. You need to be more like Sora. You know, happy and sweet and gentle. Not Benitas, let me kick your ass and say shit. Mm. Hmm. He's still hot, though. <laughs> I know, but sometimes you can't do that! Yes! Well, you could possibly apologize. <laughs> there you go. That's my Sora. Just one thing is not everybody is going to like something that you write or something that you do or how even, you know, making a YouTube video. Some people aren't going to agree with what you say in said YouTube video. Even though she's telling her, like, no, it's not affecting you. It's affecting her a lot. And I hate that. Baby. <laughs> not all the time. <sighs> What's up? What's up? What? Uh <laughs> Come on! Uh, uh, unless that is her mom, older sister. And all three of them are instantly in love with her. Happy Friday month, everyone.
Mm-hmm. Exactly. Go on. Oh my god. Oh god, you guys. Seriously, the four wheels. Stop it! They're in the book. Oh my god! <laughs> no, you're actually in the book.
you would have thought that with this, she maybe would have hesitated in transforming or it wouldn't have worked until she had to do something to abolish, like, not abolish, or establish, there we go, um, her right of her dream, you know, but like, mm, no. I felt like it got colder in here. Mm. Abandon ship. Abandon all hope. Exactly. Or even a great YouTuber, I'm just saying. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? 
No. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> That was sweet. Oh my god. Like, this episode in a nutshell was like, yeah, always room for an improvement. Mm -hmm. No matter what, there's going to be so many people who aren't going to like what you write or what you say in a video or your opinion on something, you know, but it's okay. There's always improvement. Be the best that you can be, you know. F the haters. Screw the haters. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But honestly, like, her first rough job of her story, it's not bad. There is improvement that she can make, but it's going to take time. I think what she might have to do is just, like, look through it herself. Or also still asking other people, friends, family, whoever, to read it and, like, to tell her where certain parts need to be improved and such. But really, this was a really good episode. I remember, like, I, I got feels instantly from when I started YouTube myself, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just one girl on a mission to say, okay, here's my opinion on this, this, that, and the third, and I remember, like, asking people, like, okay, what should I approve on and stuff, and I remember talking to my mom, or even you guys yourself from the people who remember when I did, like, streams. Remember that nine, six-hour stream that we did that took, like, three days Three whole days for YouTube to finally upload it. Oh my god. We had fun. But yeah, I mean, that's the, I think, you know, honestly, as much as I love Cotton, I cannot believe I'm about to say this, I think I connect more with Komachi a lot more. And especially with, like, doing a journey as someone who would be an author, um, a journalist, a YouTuber yourself, anything, and you are giving something that is a story, your opinion, whatever, and you're, even on Twitter, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> even on twitter where there are times where i will say something or someone says something that people don't really agree with or they do agree with it is what it is yeah you might lose some followers on that hell I, I know i have with anything that you never know what the heck is gonna come out of my mouth when i tweet something um or what I retweet or anything because there are going to be some people who do like some of the things that I retweet some people don't and they're going to unfollow you for some weird reason I were okay let me tell you the story of what just recently happened like mm, we're in June so about three months ago two three months ago yeah okay so okay there's a game that I play D4 DJ and such and I met this person or this person came on to me and um wanted to be friends and I was like okay that's cool that's fine and, and this person he liked to draw a lot and um he would message me either every other day or every day showing me his art and asking me kind of almost in like a quote-unquote forced way um to retweet his stuff and in the beginning I had no problem with it going back like I want to say maybe March between March and April something changed with this guy and he was being a little too once again forceful on something and so because I was a little bit irritated with it um I told him once thought he would understand and apparently he didn't so I unfollowed him and stuff or um yeah I unfollowed him and 
I, but the funny thing was, I hadn't even followed him in the first place. Like, we, like, he was following me, but I wasn't following him. So, I'm like, how in the world, um, so I was at Walmart, and I get a text message, or not even a text message, freaking DM, and it was him saying, like, why did you unfollow me? And I'm looking at my phone, and mind you, it's like 7, 8, 8 o'clock at night, and I'm ready to just go home, um... I had to record some ish later on that night and get done, but I'm looking at my phone and I'm wondering, what the heck is this dude talking about? So I'm already, you know, I'm instantly pissed. I'm wondering, why are you accusing me of following, of unfollowing you when I didn't follow you in the first place, which I did not and such. And he's like, mm, no, I think you did. And I'm like, no, because... Look at my followers and who I'm following. You're not on that list. You were never on this list, right? So, in a way, he was being very forceful once again and saying, well, can you please change it? Da -da 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 -da. This is that and the third. And I was like, you know what? Okay, whatever. To make you happy, I'm just going to go ahead and follow you and such. But even after that following, he got really, really irritating and such. And so, once again, could not allow it. And eventually, long story short, in the end, I did unfollow him. Again, after the time when he accused me the first time, even though I didn't follow him and such. And this was the type of person where, I, and, and this is my opinion, if someone doesn't agree with you or this is that and the third, unfollows you for whatever, this is that the reason, it shouldn't matter and such. It could be whatever you're tweeting, whatever you're saying, retweeting, whatever. If someone doesn't agree with it, that's fine. It's okay. But like at the same time, there is there should be no reason for you to DM me and demand slash force demand someone. Why in the world did you unfollow me? And this is that. And then demand the person when they said to you, oh, hey, I ain't follow you in the first freaking place. You demand them once again. No, uh-huh, I think you did. You need to unfollow me back right the F now. <laughs> you serious? Like, no. Oh, my God. That pissed me off. And thank God he's, like, I had to do what I had to do. I had to cut him off because I told him. I was like, please, you're being a little too forceful. I don't like that in people and such. I was like, Jesus. I was like, I understand that you are younger than me, but... You gotta know, like, if you are coming on a little too strong, which you were, you can't be like that with everyone. Anyone who you make friends with, you can't be mad with them if they suddenly unfollow you just because they possibly don't like what the hell you're tweeting about. Seriously, like, don't do that. That's, that is not cool. That is so uncool. Don't be, don't be uncool. Just, you know, you get upset, you, and then eventually you get over it. It, it is different for different people. I understand that. But at the same time, like, oh my God, like, seriously, I, I was just done with this kid. I was like, mm-mm. And, and, and not even he wasn't a kid. I think he was around the same age as me. And I'm like, are you serious? Seriously, we, we really doing that, like, honestly, are you effing kidding me, like, oh my god, but yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 17. Okay, episode 17 in 3, 2, 1, go. So yeah, don't be, don't be mean, you know, don't be forceful to someone, okay? Mm -hmm. She's in her lovey dovey mode. <laughs> Cause that's a girl in love. Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> so yes, once again, I want freaking, how do you say her name? Cure La Lamure? 
Is that how you say Laura's car name? Yeah, uh, I'm guessing so. But I want... The, it, it's so freaking cute. Like, it looks like a gun. A cute little bubble shooter gun. And I'm like, ah, it's so cute. I want it. Like, oh, and it's pink. And it's purple. And stuff. Her color scheme reminds me of freaking cotton candy. And I want it so bad. Like, and her nails. Her nails are literally my nails in a nutshell. Except... Hers are more dark blue, and mine, because I have ombre, it's like, you see how my, well, my right hand is more like it. It's more of a darker blue, and my left hand is more of a teal, Tiffany blue, and such, but who knows? But it's a pretty color, and I want it. I just, um, uh, and then the lip balm, like, everybody has a lip balm. Am I gonna buy the lip balm? That's a good question, Deja. <laughs> Maybe for my birthday. Mm, because God, no, it might sell out. I might have to choose between the transformation brooch versus the damn lip, lip gloss. Oh, God. Really, Rin? Your Naruto's coming out? <laughs> no, I don't think it's that. It's just, you know, big old l'amore. Amore. Really? She reminds me of, you know how like when one of your friends, girlfriends, whatever, and, and they get engaged and they're just like this, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. look at, look at, look at, and be like, oh, there's something in my hair, and be like, oh my god, <laughs> uh-oh, uh-huh. You know, I don't think that's a promotion, my good sir. <laughs> Somebody's about to be demoted. Yeah, well, because, you know, hey, fly on a wall, we need to know why she's acting this way. Hot boy, yeah. We've all had that feeling that first love, like, yes, yes. <laughs> mm.
I mean, seriously, it's obvious you have a crush on this guy. Yeah, but then also, something tells me that he has a girlfriend. Or heck, he might even have a boyfriend. Besides, you, you want to have some more alone time with him. Because you gotta look cute. Go on. No, take your time, take your time. Yeah, spying is wrong. Only if it's really, really necessary. So then what do you want? You want nuts and cocoa to wash the shop? No, everybody is a little too curious. <laughs> you guys. this be strong
Give him the bracelet. Give him the bracelet. No, wait. The bracelet. 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 Come on. Baby. No, 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 don't see that. Oh. Yep, this is what happens when you have two cute guys on flower shop. God, this episode just reminds me of like, oh, huh. I don't want to talk about it right now. We'll talk about it at the end, but oh my God. Uh, I know that feeling just, oh, oh so much. Thank you.
Uh-oh, no more water. Yes, eat your feelings. I would have loved to go. First love, I, I mean, even though it's not first love, maybe like second love for her, but like especially when it is an older guy or for some people who swing, you know, the same way, older girl and such, and you're just like, oh my God. And, and then you find out that that person has a significant other. I mean, oh God, I remember I had a crush. I, I had a crush on one of my teachers and then... um 
this older guy I went to school with and such and we were only really like two grades apart and everything but then I found out he had a girlfriend it was like one of those horrible things ever <laughs> it's happened to all of us <laughs> but it sucks I mean really or if you tell someone who you have a crush on that you like them like that and then they you know don't reciprocate those feelings and such it's complicated i was expecting the couple you know especially the guy that ren had a crush on to make one more appearance in the episode before it was over but no but oh, poor baby i mean yeah only if they could have gone to an all you can eat cake buffet <laughs> even though ren doesn't like horror movies i would have liked to go i mean dang like hey horror, yeah because the conjuring comes out this weekend Oh, I might watch that. <laughs> but poor baby, like oh, in the end, I mean, well, in the end, you guys still have two hot guys. You have nuts and Coco. See, Cotton also reminds me of, um, what is your name? I don't remember her name, but Cure Mermaid from Gold Princess. Yeah, it was like 100%. There's some similarities and differences in them, but oh my god, they're just so similar that it's not even funny. But like, this episode, both of these episodes this week really hit home for me. Like, oh my god. Jesus. I, I, mm, god, I don't even remember how I was when I watched this for the first time. But <laughs> I think probably, um, yeah, I had to, yeah, because honestly, we all, almost like in every episode, I'm pretty sure you can, <clears throat> excuse me, relate to something that the girls are going through or even in, later on in Siri in the series or seasons you can relate to either you know the other characters the girls help or like sometimes the mascot characters I remember there was like one or two like oh my god it, it was in um freaking Hagato when uh Homare had a crush on Harry and <laughs> Because your girl had a crush on Harry, too. Because, like, ooh. I was like, dang, you know what? Once again, we trash. I was like, I am in love with a man. <laughs> I'm in love with a man. Never turned into a damn hamster. <laughs> oh, my God. First, you fall in love with a man with a gun for it. <laughs> and then you fall in love with a man who turned into a damn hamster. But then, it, I mean, like, we, we, even we watching this, like, mm. Yes, you, you fell in love with a man who turns into a squirrel. <laughs> a very squirrel. But, like, honestly, I mean, we've all been there. In, like, any, like, moments that these girls have happened, all the way from Futariwa up until Tropical Rouge, pretty good. Even though we necessarily, um, with Asuka, you know, it, it's like, okay, Asuka gives me the feels of freaking Akira and, and the relationship of, like, oh, okay, like, yeah, like, mm-hmm. You're more the tomboy of the group, but you are both feminine and masculine at the same time to the point where people can't tell, like, if you are, like, you know, a female or a male, but everyone's okay with it no matter what and such. And, of course, she had Laura literally fawning over <laughs> Asuka, <laughs> like, day one. She's like, oh, my God, yeah, you are pretty here. <laughs> Join us. Because, because see, it's even worse, like, especially who you, who her savior is and such. Because to go back between, like, okay, um, Asuka, uh, say you, the first one who, like, <laughs> the first show that she was in, Bunny Girl Senpai for me. And going from, like, the best girl in Bunny Girl Senpai to go to, um, a girl who was, like, instantly a girly girl, okay, my, to go to Raftalia from Steel Hero, another girly girl who is you know very feminine and you know loves to wear like really cute clothes and outfits even though she is she has like a little bit of a tomboy in her and she's very rough especially because she is Naofumi's 
um sword and, and stuff and you know because they just look good together i'm just saying like please let nalfami and raftalia get together in season two um then you get to best girl nobara and, and um jujutsu kaisen and how nobara you know what's to have like a relationship or a romance with someone even with the um the girl who she was friends with who eventually left um her little like town and stuff because people were being mean to her and everything and now that she's lived she's currently in tokyo and, and this is that in the third i what the one thing that i love about like jujutsu kaisen in a nutshell and maybe almost like a lot of modern day shonen series in a nutshell is that if you have a group of three protagonists and it usually is one girl and two guys you're not being very forceful and being like okay one of these guys needs to get with her and such and so she's able to be her own person and, and not only her own person but very uh, almost in a way her own woman and be very very independent and so i really love how the Jujutsu Kaisen females of the series are being written even though your girl has not read the manga that's kind of the same thing with um the Demon Slayer females and how they are the damsel in distress they're only they're like very independent and they're very like in your face and they're gonna be like on not, not only brutally honest but you know when it's the time where they need to kick ass they're going to kick ass then getting into her most recent character aka Asuka from um tropical rouge pretty care it's like she's a mixture of my raftalia and nobara all in one but she still doesn't know um initially even as now like okay i do like a little bit of girliness but then i also like being a tomboy because we've only seen her like we, we've seen her do like not as much as sport things just yet but when you look in the opening and her lifting weights you're already like mm -hmm. <laughs> you're a girl who likes to live ways and there's nothing wrong with that i mean it, it's just a really honest to god good thing that i love about pretty care in general because you're showing that okay here are all these girls and we're not going into the typical stereotype of placing of what they place on young women or young girls going into you know as a young adult slash woman and and saying like oh i have to always be like this but no like oh my god but yes uh, dead ass like Rin's episode this episode both episodes once again hit home and just oh god it just makes you so excited to see how next week is gonna go how this weekend's pretty cure is gonna go for tropical rouge because we are getting closer and closer to when officially um laura is going to make her big debut as the final carry of the series because it's going to be at the end of the month i believe so probably by the time i get back from my vacation um she should be like let me check my phone um she should possibly be unveiled because i get back on the son of wait 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 wait, wait. i need to mm, i get back on sunday so then is she getting unveiled on the 26th that's saturday she's either she's either getting unveiled the last the last full week of june or the half week of the last week of june going into the first three days of july one of the two but when she does get unveiled like i gotta make sure <laughs> if she gets unveiled that weekend like dead ass i'm gonna have to avoid twitter for like a whole freaking day but like because i'll be on vacation i'll be like really busy with other things and i should like that but i'll still be on twitter and this so hopefully your girl doesn't get spoiled hopefully no one tags me and anything because i don't want to see her freaking transformation up until i get home so that i can binge everything and then get everything out but yeah both of these episodes were really good very sweet and adorable very hard at times because of course yeah everything's going to hit home a lot with the series of pretty cure in a nutshell but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction review towards episode 16 and 17 of yes pretty cure 5 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially out next friday for patreons and next monday for everybody else for episodes 18 and 19 bye guys